Hey guys, it's Take a Bite here with an overview of the performance on the latest Citra build, which came out right at the beginning of May. For those of you who don't know, Citra is the main 3DS emulator out right now and is making some excellent progress as well. In this video, I'll be going in depth on the performance of some of the most popular 3DS games along with graphical issues and audio. Without further ado, let's take a look at Citra. Starting us off is Animal Crossing New Leaf. Unfortunately, the game is unplayable on the current version. Although the FPS is solid, the touchpad works, and the game looks great, there are many invisible objects that you can't interact with. One of these buildings is Tom Nook's real estate office, making it impossible to progress at all in the game. Along with this, the map doesn't work when you're in the main area you begin in. As of now, New Leaf is unfortunately unplayable. Mario Kart 7 is one of the best performing games to test on Citra right now, and almost always runs at 50 to 60 FPS. The game upscales wonderfully and looks great as well. However, there are issues with some effects in the game, such as drift sparks and breaking open item boxes. Besides this and minor audio issues, the game runs surprisingly well and is a great testament to the development of this emulator. Super Smash Bros. for 3DS is sadly plagued with a significant amount of issues at the moment. However, the biggest problem is the performance. The game typically runs at about 20 FPS in-game and doesn't perform much better in the menus. Along with this, the audio is extremely messed up and is almost consistently garbled. When looking at the visuals, the game is overexposed in many areas and looks oversaturated as well. For now, the game is pretty much unplayable and you'd be better off playing any other version of Smash. Pokemon Moon is one of the best 3DS exclusives and runs pretty well currently with Citra. Inside and in battles, you can expect a solid 30 FPS with dips to 20 and 25-ish when outside and in populated areas. The game looks great and upscales wonderfully, however at some points there is ghosting around the edges of objects and things can also look like they're floating. Along with this, some items and effects don't always appear, but that shouldn't affect playability. Right now, Pokemon Moon is a very playable experience and should run great with the current version of Citra. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon is far from playable on this build of Citra, and almost consistently runs at 10% speed. The audio is a garbled, deafening mess and just sounds like static. So sadly, you aren't going to be playing any Dark Moon on Citra today. Super Mario 3D Land is mainly playable with Citra, however, there are still many issues present throughout the game. The most noticeable part is particle effects. Whenever running, jumping, or really doing anything, black or discolored effects will appear rather than the correct particles, making the game look glitchy and noticeably different from the native version. The FPS differs from around 40 to 60 and is rather inconsistent depending on the environment you're in. There are some expected audio issues, but besides that, the game does play out as you'd expect and is playable currently with Citra. Mario & Luigi Dream Team Bros runs extremely well at its locked 30 FPS and looks great too. However, due to all the characters being 2D sprites as opposed to being in 3D, they don't scale like the other assets found in the game. Some effects don't always appear and there is some slight stuttering when entering battles, but besides that, the game runs great and is certainly playable with Citra. Kirby Triple Deluxe is a fantastic game to emulate with Citra. The gameplay almost never dips below 60 FPS, and it looks great when scaling it to your native resolution. The audio isn't really an issue, and the game in general just works without a hitch. I'd highly recommend this game to anyone wanting to try out Citra. Ocarina of Time 3D runs extremely well and almost never dips below the capped 30 FPS. The graphical effects appear very similar to the 3DS, and it looks pretty much identical to the native hardware. However, when upscaling the game, the low-res textures become very noticeable and are a bit of an eyesore. The audio is also somewhat garbled when playing, it isn't super clear, and at some points it also sounds delayed. As far as gameplay goes, it is sometimes difficult since you can't use the gyroscope features present when playing on a real 3DS. However, none of those issues stop the game from being playable and very stable on Citra. A Link Between Worlds is another great game to play currently with Citra. It looks beautiful with scaling and never leaves that solid 60 FPS mark. Some graphical effects don't always appear, but that is incredibly minor and doesn't in any way stop this game from being very playable with Citra. The Citra emulator is making some fantastic progress and many games are very enjoyable to play, even with some issues. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like and maybe consider subscribing. Let me know if you guys want to see more Citra content or anything else in the comments below. I plan on making some more videos about Simu and Citra in the near future, along with some new content as well. Thanks for your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!